Hello uh, everyone, hello YouTuber uh, I'm here again, Caterpillar June Hank Okay, in this video uh, I would like to little bit uh, uh, show to everyone how to testing the travel motor or the main pressure of the pump front and uh, rear pump Okay, uh, actually the Camacho the pump is a uh, you, you can identify it uh, where is the front and where is the rear actually the front it is a uh, side of the engine on the flywheel side okay and then the rear side is near on the door when you open the door of the machine at the hydraulic pump area okay now I'm here already at the computer setup so the monitor sorry the monitor I set it to 1,101 okay and then that 1,101 it is a rear pump okay as you can see it is a 1,000 uh, the, uh, our operator is a uh, shit because they put a tape on the monitor so now the monitor we cannot see clearly okay now we are, uh, we are uh, I'm going to testing the rear pump okay on how you see as you can see the boom and the arm and the bucket the bucket tip it's already touching on the travel pad to hold the travel motor not to go around okay I will test it first on forward direction because the forward direction is uh, holding by the bucket so as you can see now it's hold it's holding okay now I will show you the pressure on how okay okay 365 because in this reason if you going to testing only by a function of arm or a boom you cannot identify uh, exactly the uh, not uh, no, you cannot get the exact pressure of the main pump okay this is only short video how to testing it okay now I'm uh, testing it if you see the situation the travel motor is in the rear side at there at the rear side okay as you can see I'm going down on the machine okay this is the machine this is the position okay that's the position so this is the travel motor okay that's a travel motor and then the other side also so it means I'm in a right position to hold by uh, the forward reverse uh, lever okay the forward reverse uh, is already exactly on the position to the, so we can say is left and right so the right position of the lever is exactly to the right position of the travel motor okay now what to do as I see I said it is already hold okay that's already hold by the bucket bucket tip okay see if you can see okay uh, push forward so as you can see the pressure it's reaching around six uh, three hundred sixty six or oh, 65-66 like that 365-66 that is a rear pump okay the number of rear pump is 1101 now I'm going to transfer at the other side see just to show on how the procedure I have done I have making once I'm going to testing the main pump the front and rear okay as you can see now it's holding now I'm going to test uh, I'm going to transfer it on 1100 okay the front pump okay see 
1100 it's not clear I'm sorry I'm sorry about this oh my god but don't you worry it can see very good okay as you can see now is moving up okay the same as the pro the uh, rear pump okay this is the pro pump 364 or 367 something that's the right and good pressure of uh, the machine to make the machine will be work normally okay but actually the standard pressure of this machine is around 380 standard okay 380 kilogram centimeter squared okay As you can see okay just only hold in a uh, around three to four five uh, seconds okay that means the pump it is good pressure but if you do same as a uh, like for example now going back in a uh, straight position like for example I'm going to function the arm you cannot pound on the this position the right pressure okay okay see the pressure is uh, reaching around 300 Sorry, sorry. As you can see, okay. As you can see, if you're testing the arm, the pressure is reaching only 300. Okay, 333. That means that's only one pump is functioning. It will not function boat and then uh, because uh, both uh, uh, pilot uh, function of the machine like for example arm they have a relief valve they must be reached the maximum pressure as the setup of this machine okay now the stick is uh, only set at reaching around 330 30 or 35 something so the main relief valve is not releasing the pressure the only making release the uh, releasing the pressure is only the relief valve of the arm because i'm using a function of the arm okay uh, as you can see and also the boom the same pressure is showing same the same relief for individual uh, function arm boom is the same pressure okay so you can see that the same It's only 332 or 33 okay that's the normal pressure even the swing I hold the swing brake just to check the pressure as you can see 342 little bit higher because the swing uh, swing brake is uh, holding the brake not to rotate the machine okay and also the machine will be the boom will be the same as uh, coming high but if I release the swing as you can see uh, if the swing is on 
as you can see the pressure is a little bit uh, up at around 350 352 kg centimeter square okay and also the arm both the same because uh, the swing is hold but if I release the swing as you can see the reaction that's the normal pressure of individual function of boom and this arm okay we hope that this video uh, will help uh, somebody's uh, how to understand and check the pressure of the excavator even any type of excavator if they have a uh, electronic or a uh, digital uh, gauge or uh, pressure gauge to test the uh, pressure so you can do the same as uh, what I'm doing if you get the exact pressure from the travel motor that means everything will be coming good unless there is an individual uh, relief valve of both uh, function of the machine it is not functioning well okay okay everyone we hope that this video uh, is going to help you if you face that this type of problem and how to check that pra the proper way or correct me if I'm wrong if somebody knows and understand about how to check but based on me based on my experience my basis is uh, just to hold the travel motor so I can pound the right pressure uh, the exa maximum pressure for the uh, and I understand that the, the what we call the main pump it is a good and also the relief valve so the only way you can do is yeah, individual through boom and arm and bucket individually testing so the normal pressure it reads around the 330 to 34 or 35 that is uh, normal for individual, yeah, individual uh, function of the machine okay okay bye bye bro this is the video for you okay how to testing the machine uh, on a hydraulic system